here we are again coming at you from inside my garage uh, things are gonna be a little different this time however I'm not gonna be doing some long drawn-out install video where I'm moving at six times the speed of a normal human being instead what I'm doing today is I'm gonna be revealing my custom graphics to you guys and I think you guys are gonna like them just as much as I do but first before I reveal the graphics I'd like to give a shout out to a couple people first of all being RJ uh, he also owns a channel called Docatrox. Uh, I think I can put that in the description for you guys if you go and find him. But uh, RJ saw my video the other day of me putting grips and handlebars and everything uh, when I was doing that install video. He uh, messages me and says, what are you doing with pillow grips? You got to try the OD lock-on grips. So uh, before I could even say anything, he said, you know what, I'm going to send you a pair. So thank you to RJ sent me a pair of custom OD grips. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he got the name on there. Thought that was really cool. I mean, didn't ask for anything else. He just went ahead and sent them to me. I said, uh, I'd love to have them. So I'm gonna try those on. I guess I've never tried them before. So I'll put them on at some point. And um, I think they're gonna go really well on there with the uh, color scheme. The other shout I'd like to give is, if you guys haven't noticed, I've got some better sound quality. Got a microphone. Uh, that should help improve the quality of the sound in my videos drastically. Uh, there's a bunch of videos I've posted already that I can't stand all the noise and everything canceling out my voice while I'm trying to yell into the microphone as I'm riding. So this microphone should help that out a lot. Um, that was suggested to me by Pete Hager. Uh, he said, go ahead and try this purple panda. The only problem is, is you got to get the GoPro adapter, then you got to get the little extension that you plug the three prong into the two prong. It's just like eight feet of cable. But uh, when I tested it out, it seems like the audio is really clear and really crisp. So I'm excited to use that. You guys should be able to hear me from now on. Um, now, before I show you guys the graphics, let's take a look at what the quad used to look like before. And now, after. Let's take a closer look here. So, I got the graphics from Dirt Fiend. They're actually just up in Mesa, Arizona. And uh, I was talking back and forth with, I think it's Sam? It's Sam. Yeah. I was talking with Sam, and uh, he said, You can either do a full custom kit or a partial custom kit. And I was like, Basically, I'd look through a ton of other companies. I know there's Spider Graphics, SSI. Um, what I'd used before on the Suzuki was. Uh, SKDA. 
Um, they were a cool company out of Australia. They had a US office, I think it was. And basically, SKDA doesn't have a whole lot for quads. Everything's pretty much geared towards dirt bikes by now. So um, I was kind of digging and then I came across a picture I really liked and I went, ooh, that looks pretty good. And I dug into it a little bit deeper and I saw the name and the little logo right here um, in the picture itself. So I said, well, let's look them up and see what they got. And these guys had all kinds of options between choosing your colors and picking what sponsors. I'm not actually sponsored before we go there. But you can pick sponsors. Uh, I basically just picked what I'm going to be putting on here. And if you guys are paying attention, there's a couple Easter eggs on here. But um, basically, I get to pick the color scheme and add a few things I wanted. Got the logo on there. Love that. Um, and then basically get everything to kind of match. Uh, this is really not full custom, but mostly custom, I guess you could say. But I really like the way it turned out. Uh, the red and black and white and everything should keep flowing. I really love how it looks on these Hondas. Um, I'm actually really impressed with the coverage too. You can see the graphics cover quite a bit. Now, these are a pain to do. You've got to use a heat gun quite a bit to get this thing to lay down right. And even so, you're going to peel it up a lot, getting air bubbles out of there and things like that. But they did lay down pretty nice. I'm actually happy with the way it turned out. So. Again, thanks to Sam for working with me. Um, I know times are crazy right now, so um, it was really hard for him to get things done. I think he's like the only guy in the office right now, so he got everything done though, and then he got it out to me, and he had a little mistake. He actually forgot uh, the logo on the front number plate, so I emailed him. He said, oh, my bad, uh, no problem. He went ahead and turned around and like, I think it was like three or four days and he had the new one out to me so he had everything on there um, thanks to him for getting it to me and I really like the way it turned out so Sam if you watch this at all thanks man I mean it's a good looking kit so I'm sure you guys have all heard of Dirt Fiend but uh, I just kind of wanted to do something different so instead of doing spider graphics or SSI or something like that or your run-of-the-mill stuff like factory effects from motorsport I decided I was going to do something completely different and to my own liking so um, that's what I came up with so hope you guys like it um, I've got a lot more stuff coming up I've got a few things I'm gonna put on here but I might not video that I'm not sure yet it's really just putting on a sprocket and putting on some grips and things like that but uh, I'm gonna get some more ride videos for you guys here pretty soon so Thanks for watching. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned.